It's the Ronald Show! Starring Ronald. Welcome aboard. At this time, I'd like to ask everyone to please remain seated throughout the show. And please keep your arms and hands inside the vehicle at all times. And for the safety of our cast, we ask that you please refrain from the use of flash photography. Say something. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Great Movie Ride. Once again, my name is Ronald, and I will be taking you from this Hollywood soundstage into some of the greatest movies of all time. All tour. And just between you and me, this is no ordinary tour, so you won't be seeing these movies in the ordinary way. It'll be as if you are in the movies. Oh, you don't get out of this car? Do you get out of this car? First, let's visit those great Hollywood musicals starting in 1933 with Busby Berkeley's extravaganza, Footlight Parade, starring James Cagney, Ruby Keeler, and Dick Fowler. Movie? Can anyone tell me what movie this is? Mary Poppins! That's right, it's Walt Disney's Academy Award winning film, Mary Poppins, starring Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke. and purses, folks. This doesn't look like a very good neighborhood. In fact, it looks a lot like the underworld. The scene from such classic gangster films as The Public Enemy, starring one of my favorite tough guys, James Cagney. In one famous scene, Cagney shoves a grapefruit into Mae Clark's face. She can never look at breakfast in the same way again. The first time I see him, Dirty, double crushing. Open up an egg, you hear me? This is Bob. Hey, are you busy for that? Yeah. Yeah. Very nice time. Got to come around. He's going to be just here. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's get down. Oh, my God. Is it there? Just a bunch of water that can cross. Do you want to blow? Sorry about the delay, folks, but I don't want to run a red light, even if it is just the movies. Hey, you. You talking to me? You talking to me? No, sweetheart. You talking to the Damon. Funny looking outfit over there. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Come in. Uh, I'm not supposed to leave the vehicle. I said get over here. Okay, whatever you say, Muggsy. Say, uh, how'd you know my name, anyways? I've seen this movie before, and let me tell you something.
Jesus in church. <laughs> what are you looking at? Everybody just watching your P's and Q's? Maybe you won't get hate. What is this? Jersey? And now, the old West. And two of Hollywood's legendary stars. Clint Eastwood and John Wayne. Fixing to get my slip shot. Hi, Taylor Abbey. Go right ahead if that's what you're going to do. A long time ago, I made me a rule. Let people do what they want. Sleepy little bag, ain't it? That's a mighty tough territory here, isn't it, two children? I think you're about turning back. Now that we're in the clear, it's the perfect time for me to collect up all your valuables. <laughs> we'll start with the jewelry. There he is. It's the bank robber. Don't let him get away. You gotta catch me first, now. This is nuts. Nuts did it. It's worse. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but uh, this is kind of creepy. What is this? This is Alien. You are with Sigourney Weaver aboard the spaceship Nostromo. Something has gone wrong. One by one, the crew has vanished. And somewhere in the ship, Look, pal, ain't no victim. Warning. Remain in your vehicle. The area you are entering is extremely dangerous. Proceed with caution.
popcorn. That just goes to show you, anything can happen in the movies. Now let's get on with the show. Some of the best horror films were produced back in the 1930s and 40s. But monsters, mutants, and maniacs are still audience favorites and continue to haunt us today. Now that's what I call a wrap. We are now entering the jungle home of one of the greatest characters of all time. No, it's not George of the Jungle. Actually, it's Tarzan, portrayed right over there. Johnny Weissmuller. Over here we have Maureen O'Sullivan as Jane. And the lovely and talented Cheetah as herself. Johnny Weissmuller is probably the best known Tarzan, but he had some tough competition for the title role of his first film. When casting the 1932 version of Tarzan the Ape Man, the director seriously considered a young, unknown actor by the name of Clark Gable. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow. Louis, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Best last line of a movie ever. Humphrey Bogart and Ingrid Bergman. Classic romance. Well, I'm going. You can't. Casablanca. No, you can't make any part of it. Because I'm not going to be no one. Don't think much to see. greatest roles as the Sorcerer's Apprentice in Fantasia. The Sorcerer in this sequence is named Yen Sid, which is Disney spelled backwards. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. How often do you get to say that? I'd say we're definitely somewhere over the rainbow in one of the most beloved movies of all time. The Wizard of Oz.
performance at the movies, but we've only just scratched the surface of what Hollywood has to offer. There are thousands of other great movies out there just waiting for you to discover. And here are just a few of my favorites. Disney Hollywood Studios. I'd like to thank you for joining us on the great movie ride. Now, before we wrap this production, we still have one more scene to do. It's called The Exit. The action begins with you remaining seated until we come to a complete stop. Then, gather your belongings and take small children by the hand. And when those doors open, rise dramatically to your feet and make a grand exit directly to the rear of your vehicle. Oh, and one more thing. When I yell action, don't forget the thunderous applause for yours truly. Okay? Places, everyone. And action! Thank you, thank you. Have a wonderful day here at the Disney Hollywood Studios, and I'll see you at the movies. The stuff dreams are made of. Goodbye, everyone.